Uh, we're doing the control arms for the FRS BRZ. We're going to start with all the tools you need. We're going to show you the removal of the old arm and then the install of the new Buddy Club P1 racing arms. All right, guys, so here's all the tools you're going to need. A creeper if we're working on the ground like we are. To get under there, we're going to need a 17 millimeter wrench, 17 millimeter socket, a 19 millimeter socket, a ratchet, Typically an extension will be used. Um, this is kind of handy to have for buzzing them out once you get them loose. Your P1 control arms. You've got your castle nut as well as a cotter pin to go across the top. All right, so we're gonna remove our old control arm. So the front, two 19 millimeter. There's a bolt and a nut. Crack those loose. To make it easy, we can just buzz them off with the impact. Drop that down. Okay, and then we'll come up to the back. Switch your socket. This is a 17 millimeter in the back. Now, one thing as you're doing it. It's always helpful to take some pictures to note your orientation for your nut and bolts. Um, also for this front plate to make sure you get that plate on the right way. Glues. And now we need to take our cotter pin out and break this loose as well. So when we do the reinstall, we're going to go over the torque specs as well. So for those of you that are looking for that, uh, we're going to post that uh, in the description as well. Work that out. So now we got our new control arm here. So reverse process, get it kind of in position there. Easiest way is to get the ball joint up in there. <laughs> get that, just throw our nut on so it doesn't drop out. Okay, now we have to get the back bolt aligned. Just gonna have to work it until you can get it. Okay, let's get that back bolt started. We'll get this plate put in, in place. So now we got all our bolts and nuts put on. So now we can go ahead and tighten everything down and torque it. Go first, we'll start tightening this. So we can get this started and buzz it on with this. So according to the service manual, 38 foot-pounds on the castle nut for the ball joint. Nut and bolt in the rear of the control arm. 
63 foot pounds on that. There we go. So 81 foot pounds on the front nut and bolt. Finally, we're going to put our uh, cotter pin in to lock the castle nut in place. Um, as you can see here, uh, you have to align the hole between the two notches in the castle nut. Uh, so you, once you torque it, you may need to uh, slightly tighten or loosen the castle nut to get it to line up perfectly so that, that cotter pin can slide in. So once we slide that in, then we'll just uh, lock it in place using some needle nose pliers or a uh, screwdriver and just bend up one of the tabs lock that in place and there you go so now we have the buddy club p1 lower control arms installed on the brz all right if you're installing a stock control arm or a ball joint uh, you can reuse the nut and the cotter pin here uh, simply thread it on once you torque it down this slides through the hole and locks it in place a little different setup than the castle nut but serves the same purpose wow.